starting the G35 project today. Keep going, keep going. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is remove the chairs. seats out, all the interior panels removed, and um, we absolutely still have the dash in right now. We're going to try to remove the roof with the dash in. Tappy Tappy. I don't want oh, my side, leg. I don't want my leg. Here you go, here you go, man. Look this. We, we can do it. Through the window. Yeah. That shit yeah, is so like a man. All right, you stop it. Oh. This year exploding yeah, this fly. It's gonna fly everywhere. No, Alright, so here's the car so far, and uh, what we have done so far to it is we've taken off the radiator support, leaving the radiator in there. The reason for that is that the front end is going to slope down, so that radiator support could not be there or else it would interfere with uh, the front end. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a frame, a new frame that will mount the radiator at a lower point and that should uh, allow that front end to clear the way that we want it to. Uh, we have like the body panels removed and then we cut off the roof which is the biggest part of uh, preparing this donor car for the new kit. We've taken off um, all the interior body panels that we need to take out. Uh, everything in the rear, um, we, I'm, I'm keeping the dashboard and the center console that stuff is going back in. This rear fender here, 
think I'm going to bridge this gap here to make to strengthen this panel because from here to about here the new panel is going to mount to it so um, I think if I bridge this gap that new panel can mount to that flange cut off some of the rear end because the new body's tail end is going to be shorter than uh, the G35 so we're going to cut enough out of it so that we would be able to clear the new body so now that I have the donor mostly done I am putting together the roll cage that's going to be used here is most of the roll cage I have the tubes bent I have um, they're ready to be uh, welded into place there's a few more pieces that I have to do after this but this is most of the roll cage here I'll show you what it looks like in CAD this will be the new roll cage that I designed for the new roof. And CAD is a very helpful tool because you can always use your model as a reference to to square whatever you're framing. And um, it helped a lot here. I'm gonna put in the new roof. I show you guys what the new roof will look like. This one is a lot lower, more aggressive look. If I turned on the original roof, you could see the big difference here. And uh, so that's the roof, and that's the roll cage that I designed for it. Here's what I'm planning for it, is that I'm going to cover these with probably eighth inch sheet, weld it in. And then this pillar right here, where the A-pillar connected to the front uh, fender, I'm going to have to cut this straight and then cover that again, weld that in. And then I'll use those as a base to uh, weld in the roll cage. Okay, so I have all the base plates welded in place and uh, I ground them down. Those are the four and then this is where the front of the roll cage will weld onto. Um, I was contemplating putting another base plate here and welding it in. I don't think I'll need to do that. So um, what's next is we're going to bring on the roll cage and uh, we're going to get it into place. We gotta connect the roll cage to our base plate. So we're gonna weld it onto the base plate uh, and onto the roll cage. There's gonna be one there, and then the other one is right in front. It's gonna be at an angle, so I have to figure that out. What the, ang what the CAD model calls for in terms of how much of an angle this is. And then this part right here, I should move it over a little bit move back but we can just weld that in I think I'm gonna have to grind that end down a little bit more so it sits a little bit lower but I'll have to check everything in CAD and make sure everything's lined up before I start welding things in place after I put in the four posts um, I'm probably gonna start thinking about how I'm going to reinforce the roll cage I'm gonna bring a I think I'm gonna bring crossbars from this rear cross beam back to the support back here and weld that in this place I think that might be a good idea it's gonna look 
much more complete with the four posts in and when everything's welded into place it won't look like such a Frankenstein kind of car with this roof chopped off. It'll have something up there. I'll be working on this and keeping you guys updated on the progress. So that's it for now for the G35 project. We got the roll cage almost in. We just have to create the four posts for it and then reinforce some of the roll cage onto the existing chassis. And then we'll move forward with making the body. So that's it for this time. I'll keep you guys posted on any progress that I make with this car. Thanks for watching.